So here what we're doing is we're drawing the cross section of the solotum stem. And um, we have a really well-developed cuticle on that outside. And that first layer of cells, just like we've seen pretty much everywhere, is epidermis. So we have that first layer, the epidermis, surrounded by the cuticle. Right inside the epidermis is that next region of cells, and it is the cortex. However, the cortex actually has three distinct layers here. The very first layer are cells that are filled with chloroplast. So if you remember, when we have chloroplast-filled parenchyma cells, we're going to call those parenchyma. Then um, after the chlorenchyma and the cuticle, that next layer, you kind of see that there are uh, thicker walled cells there. And so even though it's still part of the cortex, there's some sort of sclerenchyma cell, probably more fiber-like than sclerids. The next ring after that sclerenchyma type cell is going to be um, that final cell that we're used to in our cortex, the parenchyma cells. So that'll finish out that ring of cortex that has really three different cell types, the parenchyma, the sclerenchyma, and the chlorenchyma. All of it is part of the cortex. And the center, although the cells are hard to distinguish here, we know that there is a endodermis, and inside that endodermis, is a pericycle, and then we have that vascular tissue. So we have a steel here surrounded by endodermis, just like in the monocots and the eudicots. So we have this endodermis, and then followed by the pericycle, and you know. The aerial shoots can take on roots sometimes. So that's my guess as to why we have this endodermis and pericycle basically in the stem. Um, so in the monocot and the eudicot, you'll remember that those two layers were only found in the roots. And here we're kind of seeing those two in a kind of a weird location. And then inside that paracycle, we start our vascular tissue, and that first layer we're going to see is the phloem, and then inside the phloem there, those red cells as we've seen before, is our xylem. So our phloem there, and then our xylem on the very inside. So in this case, inside our steel, we have endodermis, pericycle, phloem, and xylem. Endodermis, pericycle, phloem, 